Let's see, we got. Let's see. Got little copper wires scraping the metal plates on the side of the, the, the plates here. And then your charges get separated on the ends here. And that puts positive on one side, negative on the other side. Creates a little gradient there in the charge separation. This gives you like lightning in a thunderstorm. The cloud you'll have positive separating on one side, negatives on the other. Lightning's what we see as that spark that connects the two to balance out the charges. The farther apart you go, harder and harder it is to get a spark. Okay, fine, there we go. Build up a higher charge. Exactly. Building up a higher charge and it takes a lot to a lot more to discharge. You can even smell it though, like that's what I was wondering that was coming from that. Yeah, what's, what's going on is the it generates so much heat in between there, it's breaking down the air. So what you're actually smelling is ozone. Uh, O3. It's got a really clean smell, I kinda like so, it. Is that why uh, similar process like why sometimes you get this a little bit of lightning and other times you get the really big yeah. huge bolts? Yeah, it just depends on um, how much uh, uh, the charge separation, how much, and like I said, all the distance between the two is a big plays a huge part in it. As far as you know, is there going to be enough to make a big spark, or if it's just going to you know find its way down? Because if it's a real easy way to the ground, you're going to get a really big spark because it's just, you know, easier for the charge to get there. Otherwise, it's going to have to bend and twist until it can find its way to the ground. Is it the uh Particles in the atmosphere that affect that, or does it have to do with the wind flow? Or, or? Um, but it can literally be anything. You got, yeah, positive is negative flying around. It can just be, you know, if you get a lot of moisture in the air, and obviously in a cloud, it's a moist environment. So it, you know, it's, I'm, it's really kind of a wonder that, that that happens at all with all the moisture up there. But yeah, it just depends on uh, literally. Well, you've got. Well, I explained it to somebody earlier. You got like two ends of the wire that actually have to meet in order for that to happen. So, you know, it depends on how far apart those two ends are, how long, how far they have to wind to touch. Yeah, atmospheric conditions, wind, low in the charges. I mean, it's there's so many variables. That's why lighting is so hard to predict. Can you believe that? The That's teacher was better. Four, eight, three. Four, eight, three. Oh, you can throw it up there? I touched your hand. <laughs>